As we all know, Barbie is out this weekend. I was never a big Barbie fan, my sisters were. But with that being said, Ryan Gosling has to get in insane shape to play Ken, because we all know Ken is the perfect figure. So today we're gonna hit shoulders and abs, the same one he used to get in shape for this movie role. I am currently taking my pre-workout from Raw Nutrition, one scoop of Raw Pre, one scoop of Raw Pump, half a scoop of Pump Squared, and one scoop of Creatine. If you guys want any of those products, the link is in the description, or you can use code Zaka at GetRawNutrition.com. I'm excited for this workout. I'm gonna take you guys through the whole thing. I don't know if this workout is gonna guarantee that I find somebody like Margot Robbie, but if it does, sign me up every day and twice on Sundays. I'm in love. I think everybody else is too. Let's go hit this workout. I will see you guys in the gym. This workout starts with rear delt raises, three sets of 12. That's how I normally like to start my shoulder days anyways, get the rear delts warm. Then we go into some sort of pushing movement. So this is not my favorite form of rear delt exercise. I don't do bent over rear delt raises practically ever unless I'm doing someone's workout. I much prefer a reverse pec deck fly or a cable rear delt fly. The first set was actually way too light, so we're not gonna consider that as one of the sets. We're starting from the second set, so technically we have two more sets to do. The worst thing about hitting a muscle group on certain days is the gym is not packed, but everything I need is taken. I had to wait a little bit to get this bar. We're gonna do a military press now. I prefer seated just because it's easier on my lower back, but we're gonna get this done. And honestly, I just realized I wasn't wearing headphones. The vibes right now are just very dull here at the gym. I've been using the Skull Candy Crusher Evos. A full review is gonna be coming on TikTok. I'm gonna do a in-depth video on the best gym headphones later on, once I've reviewed enough of them. But these are crazy. The bass on these, I only have it at a quarter. You can actually put more bass or less bass. You move this up, and if you want less, you go down. At a quarter, it's wild. I put it at half yesterday. My head felt like it was I haven't even gone the full way. I'm too afraid to do that. I don't know how people do it. If they do do it, they're just not noise canceling, which kind of sucks. Not the best, but they're pretty good. So we're pyramiding our way up. It's 15 reps and 12 reps and 10 reps and eight reps. Increasing the weight each time. The last set is gonna be the heaviest set. So far, pretty solid. We're starting with 25s on each side for 15 reps. I'm gonna put a 10 on now. I almost lost my balance there. That would have been very bad. At this point, I think it's just time that the pump cover comes off. I know I'm only at one and a half exercise in, but you know, I just can't wait for like this exercise needs. I need a little bit of motivation, but we gotta make sure that we are representing. Ken was Barbie's biggest fan. So am I. Since that last set was heavier than expected, I was supposed to do 12 reps and I only did 10. I am gonna ever so slightly increase the weight. So I think I'm gonna either go a five on each side or a 2.5, which is crazy, but it's just a movement that I don't do. If this was seated, I probably would have a little bit more leverage. I'm not gonna push myself and do something crazy that I know I can't do. It's just not worth it. We're gonna go down and wait now since we didn't get the 12 reps. We're gonna just do it as a back offset instead. I apologize if it's super loud in the background. This is just the gym and how it is all the time. Next, we've got three sets of dumbbell ladder raises. If I'm being completely honest, I wish it was four sets. Dumbbell ladder raises are my favorite exercise to build your shoulders. Also shoulder press, but you know they say spam lateral raises? Well, I, I believe in that. Starting at 35 pound dumbbells, we're gonna see how that feels. We might go up. If not, we'll stay here for the three sets. Also, I'm getting looks in the gym for wearing this, and you know what? I honestly don't care. I'll talk to you guys a little bit about that at the end, though. If you say, I'm yours, oh, I'm this right here is the secret stuff for insane pumps. And with that being said, this video is sponsored by, no, I'm just kidding. We don't have any sponsors for the videos yet. Throw a like on the video. Maybe we will one day. If you want to get insane pumps, there's a few things. One, obviously get carbs in before your workout. Fast digesting carbs. Two, Pre-workout supplements help, pump supplements help, and then electrolytes. If you're dehydrated, you're not gonna get the best pump. 
you want to make sure that you are drinking water throughout your workout you're well hydrated so the pump products actually work i usually take one packet of element during my workouts or before my workouts it is super salty but honestly i kind of like that next we have barbell shrug three sets of 12. we're gonna go through this one pretty quick less rest time for this one too we're also gonna be using our grips i rather focus solely on the weight that i'm moving and not my grip strength if you have if you have them use them if not maybe go a little bit lighter so you're not focusing too much on the weight slipping and you're actually getting good reps The last move is a single arm shoulder press. We're doing three sets of 12 each arm. I really don't know what I'm gonna use for weight wise. He definitely is trying to get more of the front delt working today, doing the military press and another shoulder press, and also a little bit of core doing single arm. You have to make sure that you use your core to stabilize yourself as you're going through the reps. I think I'm gonna start with 35s. We'll see how that feels and we'll move up from there. All right, we're probably gonna go 40s. We're gonna now do the ab portion of this workout. We're starting with Russian twist. They're gonna be weighted, so it's either a plate or a medicine ball. I think I'm gonna use a medicine ball. Three sets, 12 reps. It's probably super loud in the gym now because it has gotten insanely packed. They're doing a meetup here. Russ Swole and all his guys from GPT are here. This place is about to be crazy. We have hanging leg raises. One of the best and hardest ab exercises in my opinion. Three sets, 12 reps. Shouldn't be too bad. My grip strength should be all right. I can hold on for that long. But when you start going to like 20 reps, that's where it starts getting a little tough. The next movement is back extensions. Three sets of 12 reps here. It's not weighted, it's just body weight. Second to last movement is an ab crunch with the stability ball. Some gyms have the half stability ball where the bottom is flat and then it has the top where it's like this. You can also use that as well. These are tough. These I feel every single time I do them. 12 reps, thankfully isn't that many, so we should be good. We have this and then we have one more ab exercise after it. When I do have exercises, when I get towards the end of the set, it becomes very difficult to breathe. I feel like I'm gasping for air. The last exercise is the oblique side bends. I'm using a dumbbell. Not my favorite exercise. I probably, I think I've only ever really done it two or three times in my life. Before I started learning a little bit more about fitness, just not the best ab exercise for obliques. And in my opinion, not my favorite exercise at all. So I stay away from it. But it's part of the workout routine. We're gonna get it done and we're gonna get out of here. I ended up finishing up the workout with 15 minutes of treadmill and 15 minutes of Stairmaster. Ken's gotta stay lean for Barbie. Cardio is definitely gonna help. Overall, it was a great workout. The only thing I maybe would change is the military press. I would have just done seated military press. That's just a personal choice. I feel stronger when I'm doing seated military press, but both are great exercises. The one I probably wouldn't do at all is the oblique side bends. That one I probably would just scratch. I would do another form of oblique exercise. Now there's a few things. Ryan Gosling did shoulders on one day and abs on the other day. I did them combined today. You can do it as well. It's not gonna affect you at all. If you want to split them up, you can. Now back to the point where I made in the middle of the workout where I said people were looking at my shirt and kind of giving like judgy eyes. Majority of it was from the guys there. The girls actually loved it. With that being said, I'm at the point in my life where I just don't care anymore what people think, I guess, about me. I used to care so much so deeply it would actually affect me so much that it made me depressed i just never felt good and i'd always compare myself to others i don't think that's ideal way to live i don't let other people's thoughts affect me at all sometimes you know they'll creep in here and there when they do i just try to push them off because i'm just living my life and i'm enjoying it try not to let people affect you and if it does work every day towards getting yourself 
comfortable with you. And that's about it. If you want to see, now if you guys want to see the other workouts that Ryan Gosling did to get ready for Barbie, by all means, leave it in the comments and I'll do all the other workouts for you guys. Getting tickets for Barbie was crazy, but I am actually seeing it Sunday. So if you guys want to see my review on it, add me on Snapchat and follow me on Instagram. I'm going to give a full review on there. With that being said, that is it for this video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you want, you can hit the thumbs up button. It will really help the channel grow. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you're watching this, whenever you're watching this. I'll see you in the next one.